Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lecture, we'll continue our discussion on violin plots. In the examples we have seen so far, these quartiles appear on a vertical line, right? So all the violin plots that we saw, the quartiles appear on a vertical line. If we want, we can also make them appear on horizontal lines as a line. So for that, we'll use another attribute known as inner. And all we have to do is set it to be equal to quartile. That way it will appear as a horizontal line. Let's look at an example of that. So SNS the violin plot. Let's consider the same violin plot. So we'll pass day on our x-axis. And for our y-axis, we'll use total bill. And our data comes from the tips data set. We'll use hue. What hue did you use? Smoker? Okay. Let's use smoker. And then for our palette, let's use cool warm. And then to make it appear as a horizontal line, we'll be using the inner attribute and set it to be equal to quartile. Okay, so if we run this now, so we have a split, we have a pair violin plot with the cup with. The quartiles appearing as a horizontal line right for each of the day variables here so let's copy this and make another one this time we'll make a split violin flat so we'll pass the split attribute and set it to be true so here we have the quartiles on a horizontal line. So we use smoker as hue. We can use sex as a hue also. So if I copy that and change this to sex for our palette, let's use another color, RTBU maybe, and run it. So same thing. We have the quartiles as a horizontal line. Another thing we can do is adjust the width of our, our violin plots based on the number of observations that we have for each day, for instance. For that, we'll have to use the attribute known as scale, and then we'll set it to be equal to count. That way, the width of our violin plots will be adjusted based on how many observations we have for each particular day in this case. So let me copy this to save some time. So we have our violin flat. On the x-axis we have day, total bill on our y-axis, data comes from the tips data set, here is sex, pilot RDBU, inner is quartile so that the quartiles appear as a horizontal line, split is true. And let's pass the scale attribute and we'll set it to be equal to count. So if we run this now, so our violin width is adjusted based on the number of observations in this case for male and female. So if we take Sunday for instance, we have more male customers compared to females and same thing for Saturday. And it looks like for Thursday we have about the same number of males and females. So well, that's the scale attribute. We can also do that for paired violins. So if I remove the split attribute here and then add scale and set it to be count See, we see the same observation. 
so the orange one is for males and for Sunday we have more male, more male customers compared to females so the width of the violin is adjusted according to the number of observations we can also compare smoker versus non-smokers so if I copy that paste it here and change the hue to smoker in this case and let's change the color to a QSL and run it so you can make the same comparison for instance on Friday we had more smokers compared to non-smokers another thing we can do is show each of our observations with a stick or a line inside of our violin plus so each observation will have a single horizontal line in each of the violin let's look at an example of that for that we'll be using the inner attribute like this and this time instead of quartile we'll set it to be equal to stick that way it will show us each of the observation for our data set as a horizontal line so each line will represent a single data point okay so for the sake of time i will copy this and paste it here so we have sns that violin plot there on the x-axis total below on the y-axis data comes from the tips data set here we have smoker palette hsl and in for inner instead of quartile we'll change this to stick okay so we can leave the scale here or not we'll see two examples with or without so we set the inner attribute to stick so here you'll see a bunch of horizontal lines for within each of the violin flats within each bin and they represent a single data point so one line is a single data point for instance if we take sunday we had na more non-smokers so here we can it gives you another comparison right you see more horizontal lines in this green bin compared to this red bin right and you if you want you can move the scale attribute so let me copy this and remove scale I just wanted to show you the difference so if we run this now we have a different violin plot with each observation as a horizontal line you can still make a comparison the scale one helps you right without even just by looking at how wide each bin is you can say you can tell that for this case we had much more non-smokers compared to smokers for Sunday. So you can tell the difference by looking at the width of each bin. Whereas here we remove the scale attribute. So we cannot predict based on the widths, right? That would be a wrong assumption. For instance, if you take Friday, According to this, if you consider the widths of the bin, you will come to a conclusion that there were more non-smokers compared to smokers. However, here we pass the inner attribute and set it to be equal to stick. So we have each observation, each data point is represented by a single horizontal line. But we can say, we can tell that for Friday we have much smokers compared to non-smokers so be careful with the attributes that you pass 
and we can do the same for male and female customers we can compare them so if I copy that paste it here for here instead of smoker let's pass sex and for our inner yeah let's leave everything else like that so male is represented by this red color female we have green for each particular day another thing we can do is or oh, before that so here are here the examples are paired violins and you can also pass the split attribute to have a split violin so we can set the split to be equal to true and we have a split violin great another thing we can do is we can compare the widths across all of these days and then adjust it accordingly all we are doing here is for instance if we take Thursday we are comparing male customers versus female customers for that specific day and then adjusting the width of the bean or the number of lines right another thing we can do is compare the male customers and the female customers for Thursday and versus all other days and then I just the widths of the the widths of each bean to say and compare the number of customers that we have for a specific day for that we'll be using the scale hue attribute let's look at an example of that so if I copy the above so I copy that we have day on the x-axis total bill on the y-axis data comes from the tips data set here is smoker pilot hsl we have inner as stick scale is count and we'll pass one more attribute known as scale hue scale underscore hue and we'll set it to be equal to false now if i run it we get this result so what can we say from this graph we can say that they were first of all they were less customers on friday compared to the other days we can tell that by looking at the relative size or width of our beans right so here the width of our beans are adjusted by comparing them to all the remaining days okay and let's make the split for more comparison so we set the split attribute to be true run it again oh well, that's what we can tell we had less customers on friday and then thursday we had more customers probably on saturday or sunday we can say we have the most non-smokers on sunday right and we can say we had the most smokers on saturday we can tell that by comparing the widths of the bean okay across all the days and we were able to do that by passing the scale hue attribute and then setting it to be false and we can do the same thing for the sex as hue so instead of smoker let's pass sex and compare it so we have male in red and female in green so if you compare if you just take the female customers across all those days we had the most female customers probably on thursday compared to saturday maybe thursday or saturday we can find that out by counting the number of lines that's one way but just by looking at this we had the least female customers on friday 
and for male customers we had the most it looks like maybe saturday or sunday right so that's the scale hue attribute and there's also another attribute known as bandwidth and for that we can adjust the bandwidth of our beans okay I, I just wanted to quickly show you that so i just copied this that's the same exact thing as we saw above and then let's pass the bandwidth attribute bw and let's set it to be equal to let's say 0 0.7 maybe we can adjust this so that's what it looks like a bandwidth of 0 0.7 copy it here and then pass another bandwidth of maybe let's say 0 0.1 this is what it looks like so we can adjust the bandwidth for our violin plus i just wanted to show you that but you can play around with the bandwidth by setting it to different values and see the effect on your on our violin plus Great. Just to summarize, we looked at violin flats in this lecture and we saw that we have various kinds of attributes that we can use to get more information from our violin flats. Great. Thank you everyone and I'll see you at the next lecture.